I'm going to start with the end of this disastrous rally in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, by convicted felon Donald Trump. It got so bad. His brain broke so obviously that Fox News had to cut away. They just said, cut the feed. Let me show you that moment. Trump ranting about washing machines and plumbing and all of the things that have raised a lot of red flags with mental health and neurology professionals. And Fox News decides we've got to go. We've got to bail where there's so much water. You don't know what to do with it. You know, it's called rain. It rains a lot in certain places. But uh, no, their idea, you know, did you see the other day? They just put I opened it up and they closed it again. I opened it. They close it. Washing machines to wash your dishes. There's a problem. They don't want you to have any water. They want no water. And I was with. Water. And you were just listening to former President Trump. And we're going to talk about some of the things he was discussing there. We'll be right back with final remarks. And just going to a commercial rather than allowing this deranged man to continue ranting. And I have to tell you, this was not a good rally for Trump. First and foremost, despite obviously bragging about crowd size, as you can see in this video, the entire upper tier of the stadium empty, completely empty. You can find videos of Joe Biden speaking at the same place in Philadelphia. And it was actually full, despite the fact that they say Biden has no crowds. And despite the fact that I don't really care whether Biden has crowds, what I care about is whether he has votes. The place half empty for Trump, despite insisting it's another record breaking crowd or whatever the case may be. Trump is very, very scared about this Thursday's debate against Joe Biden. And so he isn't even mincing words anymore. He says Joe Biden is going to be on drugs. If it appears as though Biden is doing well, it is because of pharmaceuticals. Because they want to get him good and strong. So a little before debate time, he gets a shot in the ass. And that's. They want to strengthen him up. So he comes out. He'll come out. I, OK. I say he'll come out all jacked up, right? All jacked up. And of course, that is something that we are going to discuss much more with regard to Trump very, very soon. Trump realizing he's in a bad situation. And so he panics and he says, hey, you know who's great? Cornell West and Jill Stein. <laughs> Can you imagine? He doesn't talk about how great RFK Jr. is anymore because he knows RFK Jr. probably pulls more voters from Trump than he does from Biden. But all of a sudden, Trump sings the praises of Jill Stein and Cornell West. Can you imagine? This guy is scared. So we got this poll last night from Rasmussen, and it was very interesting. They also did it like with Kennedy and with the other ones in there. Cornell West. He's one of my favorite candidates, Cornell West. Oh, yeah. And I like, I like her also, Jill Stein. I like her very much. You know why? She takes 100% from them. He takes 100 percent. Kennedy's probably 50 50, but he's a fake. He's a fake. He's being honest. Votes for Jill Stein and Cornell West almost certainly come right out of the votes that are possible for President Joe Biden, whereas with RFK Jr., it's harder to know. He says it's 50 50. There are those who suggest it's actually more like 70 30 that RFK pulls more from Trump than from Biden. Trump asking, can you name a single good thing that President Biden has done? Because Joe doesn't do anything that's good. Named one name, one thing that he's done in three and a half years. That's good. Well, the extended record low unemployment rate, record job creation, dramatically lower crime levels, lower Medicare drug prices, the infrastructure inv investments, Chips and Science Act, student loan debt forgiveness. Uh, <laughs> I could go on, right? Better stock market, easier to get toilet paper, zero insurrections at the Capitol. You can really come up with quite a long list, zero suggestions that people should inject bleach. And then Trump now cognizant of the fact that some of his rally rambling is becoming a topic of discussion. He goes, I'm not rambling. This is genius stuff that I do. But I'm going to go sleepy Joe just for the rest of this particular wild. This is a wild time in Philadelphia.
Now, the fake news will say Trump is rambling. No, it's genius what I'm doing up here, but nobody on this. It's when Trump rants about Joe Bride uh, and then talks about, you know, uh, shark electrocutions and these things. It's genius. But <laughs> the, the news media simply don't understand that. Trump still very confused about tariffs. Interestingly, he acknowledges that a lot of people say he's confused about tariffs, but he insists he really does know how tariffs work. This is funny. They're looking for hope. Funny, by the way, if you don't want to cry about the fact that this guy was president and doesn't understand how tariffs work. They're tired of they're tired of being called stupid people all, all over the world. Four years ago, we were so respected and now we're being laughed at. I took hundreds of billions of dollars away from China. One of these fakers up there said he didn't take any money from China tariffs. I tariffed them for hundreds of billions of dollars. He said the American people paid. No, no. I, I actually am increasingly convinced Trump's Trump's people are watching this show. No, China paid and the American people didn't pay for it at all. They didn't pay for it. You know, they always find a reason. They're they're genius in a certain way, but they're evil genius, very bad genius. I'm nice genius. Yeah. Trump's a nice genius, but he still doesn't understand that when he put tariffs on China, the American companies importing the Chinese goods pay the tariffs. It hurt the American companies. And then finally, Trump ending with an inspiring message that he will fight the scum and he will beat the scum said we will fight these this scum that we have to beat. We will fight them and we will win. There you go. So Trump ending on a very inspiring and positive note in front of a completely deranged and disoriented crowd and the topics Biden being on drugs, oddly specific with a shot in the ass, talking about how he really does understand tariffs and he really isn't incoherent. It's very clear that those narratives are getting to Trump and they are very much bothering Trump. The weather is warming up. We're outside more. Maybe we're trying to get in shape for summer. If you're in need of a science based, no BS workout program that's easy to follow and will give you results you feel good about, look no further than our sponsor, Alpha Progression. Alpha Progression was recognized not once but twice as Apple's app of the day. It's just a great value. It has an easy to use interface. It's totally customizable based on your needs. And it has a 4.9 star rating in both Apple and Google app stores from tens of thousands of reviews. Alpha Progression is the app for anyone looking to maximize muscle gain. That's their only focus, but it's designed to be perfect for both novices and seasoned lifters alike. Every workout plan is built from scratch just for you personally and catered to your individual goals. Alpha progression was carefully designed over many years by veteran bodybuilders to give you the same principles and the tailored advice that you'd get from a personal trainer who charges 30 times more with the same results at a fraction of the price. We're partnering with Alpha progression to give you 20% off your first year when you sign up for annual or 20% off your first month. If you sign up for monthly, go to alpha progression.com slash Pacman. The link is in the description.